Hey, Orchard Kids. Have you ever been in a situation where somebody was being really mean to you? Maybe that person was saying mean things or even doing things to hurt you. For instance, imagine you were building this really cool pyramid of cups. You're building this really cool pyramid of cups and then someone comes along and knocks it all down on purpose. Hey, that wasn't very nice. How would that make you feel? Now imagine that that very next day, that very same person was building their own pyramid tower of cups and you have the opportunity to knock theirs completely down. Like you can get revenge on them for what they did to you. What would you do? Well, you know that David in the Bible was in a situation like that. Yep, that's right. And today in 1 Samuel chapter 24, we're gonna find out exactly what happened. So do you remember how we talked about King Saul last week and how he was jealous of David? King Saul, he wanted to hurt him really bad. And do you remember why Saul was so jealous of David? That's right. It was because the people of Israel really liked David. They sang songs about his bravery. Also remember how the prophet Samuel anointed David to be the next king of Israel? All of these things, they made King Saul very jealous of David. He thought the people liked David more than him, and they wanted David to be king instead of him. So David knew that the king was out to harm him. So in this chapter, we see him running away and hiding with his followers in a cave. And King Saul came along with 3,000 of his men, and they went to track down they wanted to kill David. And while King Saul and his army were marching through the land searching for David, the king went into a cave by himself to rest. what? It just so happened to be the same exact cave that David and his men were hiding in. David's men wanted David to take this opportunity to attack Saul, get their revenge before Saul would attack him. But instead, David cut off a corner of the king's robe when he wasn't looking. And then he allowed Saul to walk out of the cave without being harmed at all. Saul didn't even know that his life had been in danger. That was a pretty amazing thing that David did, don't you think? Even though others were telling him to harm Saul, David trusted God to deal with Saul himself. So once Saul was a distance away, David came out of the cave, called out to King Saul. When Saul turned around, David bowed down to him. He showed the king the corner of his robe that he had cut off and told him he didn't want to kill him. He said to Saul in verses 9 through 10, he said, David said to Saul, why do you listen to the words of what the people say? They say, look, David intends to harm you. You can see with your own eyes that the Lord handed you over to me today in the cave. Someone wanted me to kill you, but I took pity on you and said, I won't lift my hand against my Lord since he is the Lord's anointed king. Now, David showed kindness to Saul, even when he didn't deserve it. He didn't want to dishonor God, so he treated Saul with honor, with respect, and had mercy on him. God also shows us mercy, even though we don't deserve it, guys. 
We are all sinners and we are all separated from God because of our sin. There's hope. There's hope in Jesus, the one who took our punishment to the cross and made a way for us to have a relationship with God again. Jesus, who came and lived on this earth, he is the king over all. God may have anointed David as king over Israel for a time, but Jesus, he is the king forever, for all of time, for eternity. But much like David, he too suffered from those who didn't recognize him as king. He was rejected and punished. He was punished for our sin. And just as forgiveness was important for David, Jesus was forgiveness. Jesus didn't suffer for nothing. He died so that all of our sins could be forgiven. Forgiveness can be hard when it's with someone who's not very kind and someone who's hard to love, isn't it? But in those times, we have to remember that Jesus forgave us when we didn't deserve it. And you, you, you can use that same forgiveness that Jesus has given to you, to that person. When we do the wrong thing, God is quick to forgive us when we turn to Him. We can ask Him to help us to do the same for those around us that hurt us. Kindness. Let's do it. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, you are so merciful. You are loving, kind, compassionate God. You are a just God. God, we are just so thankful that you know we are separated from you because of our sin, but God, you weren't going to leave it that way. You had a plan all along from the very beginning. You told of the Messiah in the Old Testament, the Messiah to come, Jesus, Emmanuel. God with us, you gave Jesus your only son so that he could make a way for us to be in your family and have a relationship with you again. God, let us be thankful. Let us remember the sacrifice that Jesus did and let us, let us forgive those that may hurt us. It hurts when someone's unkind to us, God. But let us remember that Jesus he was treated badly, but He forgave us. When we believe in Him, God, He forgives us. We are forgiven of our sin. We trust and put our faith in Him. Let us use that same forgiveness to others around us. We ask all of these things in your precious and holy name. Amen. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that lesson. That was a fun one. We'll see y'all next week. You make the darkness run and hide. You bring the broken back to life. Only you can, only you can. You set me free from every chain. You fill my heart with songs of praise.